Hello! Right now, on the bench, I've got an amplifier that's a little bit quiet on one side. We don't know why yet. It's a Skytronic PA2100. I don't think it's a, one of the premium maker brands or the highest quality. But we'll see if it can be fixed quickly. Let's just give it some power. Let's crank these knobs right up. Let's see what's wrong. Okay, that's what's wrong. <laughs> so the left channel has got a good output, right channel very small, very low output. Let's get the lid off this thing. Well, that's why it's so heavy. <laughs> Thick steel cover. me. Come off. Well, there's not much in it. It's as basic as they get. This is transformer comes in, bridge rectifier down here, onto this board here, some caps. These are output transistors. This is a very simple one. Oh, there's the fan. Well, if it happens this simple, it can't be that broken, can it? I've had a quick look for some schematics or drawings for this thing, or even a service manual. Uh, can't find anything for it, but this make I'm not quite sure if it's Chinese or what. I have a feeling it might be Italian. And I'm basing that on on the back. There's some sort of Italian things like a prodotto or something. And the other thing to note, there's no spelling mistakes on it, so <laughs> makes me think it might be European. I think it's quite old because I can't find any info. Be a good idea to sort of get to know the amplifier a bit, have a little probe around. So I'm gonna turn it back on. Let's get the meter on there. First of all, I'm going to probe some voltages to just find out what this thing runs on. Let's pop along these fuses. There we go. 45 volts. Minus 45. Another minus 45. And 45. Now we know. It's going to measure the gates of these output transistors, see what the signal's like. Let's put it back. Oh, what's that? Two, four. Four or five, six volt, five volts, peak to peak. <laughs> the same on this side, this channel, what's that going to be like? Oh, a load smaller. Yeah, same on here. So, it's not the power section. So, check we've got the right signals coming in. So this is the input. Yeah, 100 millivolt peak. Um, exactly the same there. So, it's coming into the amp perfectly fine. It's getting lost somewhere in the middle. I mean, treated this sort of upright module is, I think that's probably responsible for driving these transistors. Right, let's get this apart. I think there ain't much to it. <laughs> these knobs have to come off. What else is there? It looks like it's all screwed in from underneath. That'd be easy to sort out. So I'll see if I can tip this over without disconnecting it. So we've got the input here, there's a resistor here, another one there. And then that goes through from here to the potentiometer. So there's one there. I have to draw it. <laughs> it's a, draw a rectangle with a arrow on it. That's the potentiometer. And here we've got a capacitor coupling. And where is it? Here, over there. We can see if there's anything at the very front that's wrong. I'm just going to power this back up. Right, it's now back on, <laughs> minus the fan. So I'll do a bit of probing around. So coming in through the socket, I've got a 100 millivolts peak there. On the left and the right, the same. Comes to the resistor, a bit lower. Yeah, exactly the same up to this point. Then it goes from here to the potentiometer here. So that's the same level there. Let's compare it over here. Yes, yeah, so far we're the same. In the middle terminal, oh, very low. 
about this middle terminal. That's up full. Is this actually turned up full? Yeah, it is. It's very low here. This could be just a dodgy pot. So we'll go from the wiper to the middle pin and, oh strangely, okay, <laughs> it's 200 kilo ohms, but it's a 100 kilo ohm pot. Yeah, I think the wiper's gone on this. <laughs> Manual desoldering tool. Sometimes it's great, <laughs> sometimes it's not. Has that got it enough? Fetch off. <laughs> no. <laughs> Am I surprised? No. Sometimes these need a bit of a hand. Oh, there we go. Because this is a bit of a cheap amplifier, I'm going to see if the cheap potentiometer can be salvaged <laughs> or if we're going to replace it. <laughs> Let's open it up. Can you just peel these little tags up? See what carnage there is. Hmm. It doesn't look terribly destroyed, I have to say, but I can see some black sort of what is that muck on there. So let's get a little there. <laughs> let's get a little cotton wood and give that a wipe. So if I can just clean up that end, and I think this is salvageable. That's clean right up. Just a bit of muck and the same there, just to be, be careful here that I don't cause these to bend out of position. I'll give this a little wipe over as well. I'll just check the <laughs> state of this part here. This should be 100k across here and it is exactly 100k. And from there to be carefully just gently touch on there. Yeah, that's the problem. It's 200k there. The middle edge of the centre track here is knackered. I've had a little look in the uh, little drawer of potentiometers. I haven't got one that fits. Rather annoying. I've got one. <laughs> I've got some the right value, but they're a little bit too posh for this amp, to be honest. So I'm going to see if I can do a little repair using some conductive paint. I'm just going to try and paint some conductive paint. Just get it to wick underneath the tab. It seems to be doing. Whether it works. I've just given this a dry with the hot air and um, just painted it in all the way to the centre part and I'll tell you what, we got some good results. Check this out. Measured from the leg to the thing. Look at that. 13 ohms now and dropping. This is a perfectly good fix. I've just squeezed it all back together. Giving it a little measure as well. It's perfect. I'm really pleased with that. Let's push that in there. And get some solder on it. Oh look at that beautiful full waves there. How exciting. Let's check on these capacitors here. Over on this scope, there, that's the signal there, over here. Perfect. Yeah, screw it together. Plug the fan in. The knobs back on. About there. Something like that. Bung the lid on it now. And shove more screws in. Beautiful. Nice smooth action. Yeah. 
quick fix that one for once <laughs> catch you next time